بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. This is its translation and explanation for some of the questions that have been addressed to Sheikh Al Albani, Rahmatullah Alay. This Fatawa Rabir, Fatwa of City Rabir, question number seven. هل هناك تعارض بين قول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السفر قطعة من العذاب وكون دعوة المسافر مستجابة Question is there a contradiction between the statement of رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم traveling is a piece of punishment and that the dua the supplication of the traveler is answered and granted. The Sheikh Rahmatullah Alayhi said what the meaning is, there is no contradiction. Similar to the statement of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Huffat al-Jannah bil-Makari, Paradise been surrounding with dislikes, and Hellfire been surrounding with lusts and desires. So if we say that the Muslim live in a life of this dunya surrounding with dislikes and hardship, is it means that his supplication is not going to be answered? There is no contradiction. Therefore, if we say that traveling is a piece of punishment, So this means that he is going through some kind of discomfort. We did not say that he is punished with the punishment of hell fire. So traveling is a hardship and discomfortable, but does not mean that this will negate the answer of his supplication. So there is no contradiction between traveling be a piece of punishment and the dua of the traveler is been answered by Allah. We skip question number eight and we look to question number nine. What does it mean in the question or the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi when he said that grave will be squeezing the believer to such a degree that his ribs will be interlocked while he is in the grave? The Sheikh said this means that this is severe punishment in the grave. That means he be squeezed so much that his ribs will be interlocked and a person not be saved from this squeezing of the grave even Sa'd ibn Mu'ad may Allah be pleased with him he was not saved from this squeezing of course that the deceased person will be suffer pain and agony from this squeeze of the grave but it doesn't continue it will be one time squeeze but it will get release after this if he is a righteous person and if he's not will be a serious for him until he be resurrected.
question number 10 ما معنى what is the meaning of such hadith من غسل واغتسل that will be rewarded for every step a reward of one year fasting and qiyam The Sheikh said that the hadith is clear and obvious. There is no problem with the hadith. But how the person was so surprised to know that the reward of every step he takes to the mosque, he will get a reward of one year. The Sheikh Rahmatullah Alayhi said. This is not too mighty for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the most generous and he bless his slave servant with whatever means he wants. But nevertheless, we need to focus on the hadith. It may seem to somebody that is easy that everybody can do it to get such a great reward. But if we examine the hadith, the first thing is saying, whosoever cause somebody to take a shower. That mean man That mean he took a ghost and as having a relationship with his wife it caused her also she have to take a ghusl. Not every human being can do this. Some of the people are not married. So, the hadith is not apply because the hadith is say, whosoever take a shower and cause somebody else to take a shower, which means a wife. So this is the first thing. Not everybody can do it. Only those who are married. And does not because the person is married is going to have intercourse with his wife in Yawmul Juma. Then The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bakkara. That means he went early to Salatul Jum'ah. That means as it came in the hadith, he went in the first hour. As if he had contributed and donated a camel. A person who go in the second hour, as if he donated a cow. As we know the hadith which talks about this reward. And the question came, when is the first hour for Jum'ah? The Sheikh said, the one o'clock according Arabic time. That means immediately after the sunrise. After the sunrise, this will start the first hour of Jum'ah. So here's the hadith talking about taking ghusl, causing your wife to take ghusl, and to go early, then the Prophet said to walk, not to ride. Then he said to come closer to the Imam. Who's nowadays that concerned about getting closer to the Imam? You don't find many people do this. So you think that the person will get this reward with no problem. Now, then the hadith says that he did not indulge in any talk. 
so he will get rewarded that means he's not involved in any conversation not even enjoying the good or forbidding the bad while the khatib is giving the khutbah now this person is going to get such a great reward if he was able to fulfill all these requirements and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best thank you for watching